Hello traders, how are you? Vladimir here from Traders Academy Club and this video is my weekly uh, review of the trading systems uh, and um, I'm talking about the SRS Pro, the Triple B Pro and the Divergence University trading strategies, the strategies that I teach in the course. Uh, the purpose of this video is uh, educational, is to explain what sort of um, decisions we make when we are dealing with uh, alerts in the trading systems, when we are facing a trading opportunity using the strategies uh, and to explain the logic behind it. Every single week I bring up some uh, different views, some different tips that could be useful in your trading using this trading systems and uh, manual trading strategies that I also teach in the Divergence University course. So for all those of you who have the access to the systems or the course, this is for you. Uh, and if you don't have the access to the systems, you can, uh, and of course, if you find them useful, that could be useful in your trading, uh, something that could help in your trading, you can find them directly here in the website. You can find them below the video in the description or in the pinned comment. Uh, there is also the access free with the brokers program. So just go to the website and check. And if you find them useful, you can get your copy here, SRS Trend Rider, ForexTripleB.com, uh, and of course, at the Divergence University. So, <laughs> sorry. So the first one, uh, which I would like to review today would be the uh, SRS Pro. And I have here, uh, let's go to the Apple performance. Uh, these trades were executed by my team and by myself, and I want to review them, of course, uh, and um, explain what and why we take into consideration when we deal with these trading decisions in real time, okay? And I, uh, I want to give you these tips, so when you face these uh, trading decisions, you can also um, remember my suggestions and my tips and uh, see if uh, their implementation in your trading could be helpful. So before, uh, I, uh, before I start, if you find these videos helpful and useful, please let me know. Hit this little like button below the video. Uh, your help is very much welcome, very much needed for the channel to continue and to stay relevant and to grow. And uh, of course, thank you very much for those of you who can help in advance. Uh, feel free to ask any questions and to share any of your feedback and your view before, uh, below in the comment section. So uh, what do we have uh, then on SRS? So we have three trades of oil from last week. I cannot review all of the trades, so I want to review um, uh, some of them. And in, 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 in today's week, I want to talk about the oil. So we have a couple of oils the beginning of the week and then one more by the end of the week. And I want to explain why these two are simply smartest, not because they worked and this one failed, but simply because what does the uh, multi-time frame scan mean and what does it mean to trade with the momentum in multi-time frame when everything is synchronized in you and why this one, despite of being tempting, could be avoided as it's more, more aggressive. That's what I want to explain. So first of all, why at all uh, we were looking to sell the oil? The uh, idea here is simple. This trade, uh, we, we did follow uh, from Traders Academy Club. Uh, and after we shifted here from the uptrend to downtrend, and we came for a rally to retest uh, these highs, look what happens here, rejection. Okay, look what happens here. Volume is building up. And for me, this is an absolutely amazing say that, okay, something is happening and it's a good opportunity to look for sell all the way down to the next volume zone. By the way, by mentioning the volume, uh, this indicator, the key trading level indicator based on the volume profile and multi time frame scan, automatic multi time frame scan here for you, as you can see. Okay, absolutely useful. This indicator is available for free. Uh, and uh, you can find the link to that if you still don't have this indicator below the video in the description and in the pinned comment, the KTL, okay, key, key trading level indicator. 
you will see there are two options, one to get paid, one to get free. Free comes with ads, paid comes without ads. This is absolutely fantastic indicator and I use that every single where. Since we created it, it's part of my trading arsenal for everything, for every trading decision they do. So I love it and I hope you will, it, uh, you will as well. So that's why we started to look for sell on oil, okay? And then what happened is we go to the lower time frame and we are looking for the waves to get synchronized. And the way I saw that it's three lower highs, lower lows on the one hour chart, pull back in ABCD, we break down and we recreate the momentum, okay? We go down, we go down and look what happens at that moment we have our lows in play, downtrend in play, lower highs continue, lower lows continue, and it doesn't change. And this is why, for me, it was an absolutely classical place to look for sell opportunities. And these are exactly the ones we got. So this was the first one, okay? I explained the logic behind the downtrend. Right. Then we got the three lower highs, lower lows on the lower time frame. We got the ABCD. We got the breakout. Easy decision. Now look at the SRS candles from the higher time frame scan. We are absolutely bearish. So my analysis from the higher time frame and the SRS systems are synchronized. And that's it. Easy decision. Trending structure on the lower time frame. ABCD breakout easy decision next one comes not too much after this was the first one right here as we just saw so the downtrend continues and you can see that okay lower highs lower lows nothing changed another abcd okay another easy sell decision it absolutely clean look at the candles who is in control the sellers higher highs higher lows who is the control the sellers uh support right? Support becomes resistance, support becomes resistance. That's it. And then, of course, the SRS combination. Here, momentum and sentiment. This is the classical. This is where we get the alert. As you can see, once these triggers, this is the alert place. It's easy decision to take a trade in this place. Everything is lined up. Will that be sort of a guarantee that this trade will deliver? Absolutely not. There is no such thing guarantee in trading. All you do in this business is trading probabilities and your chances. By saying that, I mean, when you get your opportunity, you have no idea if a trade will work or will fail. What you do have is your probability and you increase your probability to be right by applying your technical analysis and the multi-time frame synchronization. And even if you do like from 50% uh, accuracy, you go to 60% accuracy and you work with even as low as one to one risk reward and average, you start to make profits. It's not science. It's a very simple mathematical understanding now one more tip i want to give you here in that case the abcd also shifts to make lower lows which is a double signal uh, so again easy decision now the third trade which we took was very late and the reason why we could skip it is because let me take you back to the uh four hour here you are okay back to the four hour the the next signal was here now, why is that something you can skip? Because look where we arrived. We arrived to a key support zone and the volume zone. So from one side, yes, the trend still did not shift because lower highs, lower lows in play. However, on a higher time frame, we already see critical levels being reached. The chances are against us. So this trade started well and almost reached the profit, but eventually lost and lost for a reason. We could skip it. We still decided to take to give it a chance, mainly because the other two already delivered pretty, pretty good. It's 1.2% in total, 125. So we could definitely risk half percent out of the profits, 
no problem with that, but I want to explain you here why this one was more aggressive and could easily be avoided. If you are facing a trade right next to rejection levels, especially from the higher time frames, you want to double consider your trade. The next one uh, would be here, that's the uh, triple B. And once again, I want to remind you if, you, if you find any of the strategies, any of the trading systems, useful uh, you can get your copy uh, directly from the websites and these websites you can find below the video in the description or in the pinned comment so i want to talk about in this um, in in this week i want to talk about the power of the bollinger band in the triple b the triple b is based on bollinger bands with pivot levels well, i was talking on the previous weeks the importance of the pivots with trends i want to show how is the Bollinger Band coming in play? So for that, let's take the Swiss Yen, which was in the previous week, which was absolutely amazing and was riding a clear trend. So what we got here from the beginning of the week was uh, the first attempt. Now, look what happens here. As always, I love to trade from the levels, right? From daily and weekly pivots, as you already know. And if you don't, you, still, you know now. The power of the Bollinger Band, and one of the ways I love to trade with that is to refer to the lows of the Bollinger Band as lows of themselves and as supportive areas. Now, look what happens here. Low, low, right? They are as sort of support, then low again. So this is a supportive area, and this is a supportive area, the lows, right? The lows of the Bollingers themselves. Now, look what happens here. Every time we touch the Bollinger and we bounce by breaking the, the previous um, fractals highs, we are, you see here, we are in a potential uptrend. Same happened here, just without the, um, the pivots. So, and same happens here, of course. Now we bounce and we break the fractal. This one was not broken. Okay, only here. So this is a trade, but look at the Bollingers. So it's easy decision support support low and low so besides the beautiful pivot zones and the classical trending structure which we also have here look at the beautiful trend filters um, sh uh, uh, shown by the triple b okay simply amazing opportunity and it's again easy decision to go for buy when everything is lined up Okay, now I want to take the next Swiss yen. Look again. Sorry. Look again is low and low and low. How does that look like? You see what I mean here? A trend, right? Higher lows, higher highs represent what? A trend. And we are in trending condition. Okay, so here we don't have a support, but we have a clear trend. And the support comes by again, my favorite, the weekly and the daily synchronization of pivot levels. With a trend, you don't need anything else. And we have a classical shift here. Look at that. The resistance that become a support and this resistance that becomes a support. Bollinger's lows, once again, the low, and the low and the low, they are creating an uptrend. This is an ABCD correction in a bullish trending structure, nothing against on the higher time frame. MACD gains momentum on the higher time frame. Again, easy decision, and this one also delivered. And same with the next one. Okay, after we enjoy the ABCD, we get another pullback, and look what happens again daily pivot with the weekly zone, right? And look what happens with the trend. We still continue low, low, and low. The lows and the highs are going up, right? High, high, high of the Bollingers. Clear up trend. So it's again, and of course we are holding here again, right? Resistance become a support, the pivots in play. And that's the thing. When you trade with the triple B or any, any other system, right? Pay attention to the basics. Don't complicate. Does that guarantee a winner? No, but it gives you absolute advantage and in your improved odds, in your probabilities to end up a trade as a winner. Not 100% gonna be the winners, but 70%, even like 60, right? Between this range will. 
And if you keep the risk reward as low as one to one on average, you will find them delivering to you time after time after time. And the mass would do the rest because with 60% success rate, and it will be more if you follow these simple rules, even with 60% success rate, you will find that delivering over and over and over again. Classical clear trend conditions. Of course, every week could be different. And of course, there will be different periods in the market. That's not the point. Point is for the long run. You stick to the basics. And this, these are the basics I wanted to show in this video. I wanted to explain the Bollinger Band, how it is used as a support and as a resistance. And um, the last one I want to uh, talk about is the uh, Divergence University, uh, which also you can find your access to the course, full course in the divergenceuniversity.com, also available for free with the Brokers program. So feel free to um, check it out here, get it now. Here I want to put, uh, it, as you can see, it was mixed trading week for us, part of the, part of the business. Um, with the Divergence University, but the risk reward does the work for us. Now, I do want to show the two indices, the uh, Dow Jones and the S&P that we decided to trade one buy, one sell. And I want to show how a very basic of uh, support and resistance play a significant role here, even when, when it fails. Look at this S&P. We have clear downtrend in this place, okay? And here, of course, as you can see, massive supportive area. Now, between the two lows, we create divergence, right? Low to low, low to low. Lower lows on the chart, higher lows on the MACD indicator. The last leg here is slowing down, three smaller waves, ending with a divergence as well. So as we, what do we understand? Look at this area, high, low, and it becomes a support, okay? Support here, support here. We found a classical supportive zone with double divergence, one of the bigger scale here, and then on a smaller scale on the last leg. Easy decision to go for buy. As I always suggest, look for your targets to be around key zones, right? The next swing high is here. So it's a good opportunity, which, which also delivered. Now, for Dow Jones, we had the same. Because if the, the only difference we, we had in this one is because on the big ones, we don't have a divergence between the big lows, uh, highs, sorry, right? Maybe this one is more aggressive. However, we still decided to take it because look at this resistance zone, okay? It's pretty obvious, high, high, and another fake high. It's all resistance. So we come up here with a divergence on the moving averages on the MACD. Yes, we don't have divergence on the bigger scale as we've had on the S&P. Maybe it makes it a bit more aggressive. However, we do have another fake breakout here. Beautiful engulfing here, classical resistance. And we are aiming to the previous low end resistance that became support. If it would work out, it would be a great uh, risk reward, of course, but in that case, it did not and it failed. However, what I want to show you is once again, even if you stick to the basics and the basic of the risk reward, this one is a loss, this one is a profit, it's net of half percent profit approximately. So if you stick to these basics and do this math, you will see over time the results in your favor. Just don't do the mistake that most traders unfortunately do, and that's chasing every support and every divergence. Pick them up, especially in a multi-time frame. Look for the scale as I showed on the S&P, the bigger scale, not just on the very, very recent wave. On the bigger scale, the bigger the level, even on the higher time frame, uh, and the more divergences you have there, the better your chances. It's pretty much, it's pretty much it. Okay, so these are the things that I want to discuss about on uh, on this week for each of the systems and the strategies. 
uh, for the SRS, I wanted to explain the clear trending structures, multi-time frame analysis, and what to avoid when you reach a critical supportive area, like the oil we saw there. For triple B, the importance of the Bollinger Bands, trending structures, and the supportive zones. Uh, and for the Divergence University, the divergence as it completes on a key rejection level. Uh, so these are the things which I find very important uh, in trading. This, uh, these are the things we consider in our trading when we are making our decisions. I wanted to uh, present it to you, so you do the same. And uh, hopefully it's clear enough. So thank you very much for your time watching this video. I hope you find it useful uh, and helpful. Don't hesitate to ask any questions if you have any. And access to any of these systems could be found below the video in the description or the pinned comment. Um, that's it. Thank you. Stay safe. Be well. And I'll see you soon with more videos. Bye for now.